Welcome everybody, it's Selman. In this video, we are going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II's multiplayers, and we're going to mainly be focusing on divisions and just kind of explaining them with the knowledge we have right now. And the reason I say that because sometimes because we don't have exactly all the information about this, even from E3, we just don't know everything about them. But I'm going to just be explaining everything that we do know so far. And of course, I'll explain what I mean by that when we get into the video. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's actually jump into this video. So I'll have this image on screen right now, and as you guys can see, there's just different divisions to pick from and you can see actually five different divisions and of course you could change those divisions which we'll get into in just a second but just to point out the five different divisions we see infantry airborne armored mountain and expeditionary are your five different divisions and of course they can be customized within each of them and just a note from what i've heard that these divisions kind of want you to use specific type of weapons like infantry division wants you to use assault rifles airborne wants you to use submachine guns armored lmgs mountain sniper and expeditionaries shotguns but from what i've heard you don't have to use those type of guns on these classes it just it works out better and sometimes you won't be actually to take advantage of some of the division skills that you may see inside these and of course we'll get into division skills in just a second but before we do that i want to have this image on screen right here still i don't know why i said that but you guys can't see the right side of the screen we see the primary secondary and equipment and from what i've heard these can be customized however you want it's going to be pretty darn similar to create a class except you're not going to be able to pick wild cards and perks just the things on the side as you guys can see like i said there's a primary with the attachments and uh, you do see four attachments right here but that's kind of weird and i'll explain in a second and again you have the m1911 right here it does have attachment on and of course that'll be weird but and i will explain it also there you do see equipment but i think equipment may be specific to these divisions from what i've heard again this seems like you can only use the frags for the infantry and i believe the mountains get bouncing betty and of course you guys will see when we go through all the other ones but i could be mistaken but now getting into what's actually replacing the wild cards and perks as you guys can see right in the middle We see division skills and this is a bayonet charge and of course It's just self-explanatory you just charge with the bayonet and we kind of saw this in the trailer yesterday I'm not going to read through it because it's kind of self-explanatory like I said And this is why I said we don't we may not know everything about divisions because we see division trainings and basic skills right under here And we're not too sure if this is all the, the divisions training and basic training we could get because we do see basic trainings change But we never see See division skills or divisions training ever change i'm not too sure if that will change or not i think only basic training changes but we'll have to see when it actually comes out there may be more basic trains and there may be more divisions training i don't think division skills ever change though so as you guys can see here the infantry man 3 which kind of makes me think that it can be upgraded because it says infantry man 3 and not just one two three so i do think there'll be more to this when we get the final thing but you can see it says take two extra attachments on the primary and one attachment on the secondary and this is why i said that many attachments isn't normal when I first pointed out a while ago and the basic train is steady immune to shell shocks and tactical equipment and sprint for longer distances so those are pretty cool and we'll go on to this next infantry one infantry two of course it says bar I'm not too sure why it says the name of the gun there it's probably because of the set classes that they were going for but as you guys see division skill and division train stayed exactly the same but one thing changed the basic training and of course the weapons too but that's not really important what we're talking about right now but we see hunker reveals the enemy's equipment and the second one take less explosive damage so pretty cool stuff next one we're going to is airborne and the airborne is supposed to be used for a suppressor or a sneaky type classes but of course you can see it's division skill and it's a suppressor and this is actually really cool because you can toggle on and off the suppressor by clicking the left arrow mid game so that's just so cool you can do it just while you want a suppressor on or when you don't want a suppressor on just put it on and put it off whenever you want during the game which is really cool but at the same time it's kind of unfortunate that you can't use a suppressor on any weapons now just when you're using airborns but i guess that's now a thing i could see this airborne thing being really popular among a certain type of players and we see it's division training being pathfinder 3 sprint for longer distances increase sprint speed and climb over obstacles faster the basic train being smoked extra pieces of lethal equipment and a smoke grenade as a tactical weapon so wait i'm not entirely sure how this works now just after reading that i didn't realize this when i first looked through these but maybe the tactical weapons are specific to the divisions and the lethals may change when it however you want i'm not entirely sure of course like i said we don't really have that much information about this then we have another airborne just like i said division still stay the same and division train stay the same but of course we do see a, a melee weapon right there as a u.s shovel so that's pretty interesting to see and we see its new basic train being phantom quieter movement and take no fall damage and invisible to enemy recon aircraft while moving of course the lot of these are just renamed perks that we used to have except they're now going to be locked onto divisions next one we're going to look at is actually armored and we can see its division skill and it's 
bipod and this is actually really cool because it actually lets you mount your weapons i believe it only works with lmgs but you can mount your weapon wherever you want which is really cool because i was surprised with it that they're actually doing that but it's really cool to see that they're doing this of course i like i said it's made for lmgs but anyways the next we see is this division training and it's tanker 3 rocket launcher as a secondary weapon which is something that's really surprising because launchers being only specific to a, a division is going to kind of be weird but of course we'll see when we get the final thing and it says an extra piece of equipment throw equipment faster farther and while sprinting so that's pretty cool seeing all this and we see his basic train loaded extra magazines reload weapons faster next one we see of course everything pretty much being the same the division train is division skill staying the same but the basic train beats the scoop move faster while aiming down sights extra attachment on primary weapons so that's actually really cool with lmgs because moving faster while aiming is pretty darn helpful but anyways moving to mountain we see sharpshooter as his division skills and this is actually really cool at skill because it's kind of like the holding breath thing that we used to have but this one actually blocks out the surroundings and in return acquires an aim assist and enemy names active while you're holding your breath which is really cool because holding your breath really didn't do anything before but now it's actually allowing aim assist to kick in makes it really cool because before you would have rather no aim assist or aim assist on a sniper which would be so annoying if either way because one makes a sniper almost unusable to anybody who's not used to using a sniper and the second one makes the snipers overpowered so i think this is a really 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 cool feature for snipers but anyways we see it's division train scout three acquire enemy names from farther away really cool increase mini map coverage even cooler and hidden to players controlled streaks which of course that's also really cool and the basic training being kill without revealing enemies death location no name or color change when targeted which is really cool because that is really powerful i think this one's my favorite one actually these are some really overpowered abilities right here then we're looking at mountain 2 straight to basic training swap weapons faster throw equipment faster resupply ammo and equipment from dead enemies which is pretty much again just fast hands and scavenger so it's pretty cool to see all this stuff and we have expeditionary when its division skill says incinerary shells shotguns rounds will spark flames and burn enemies to death press left arrow to load shells and that's pretty interesting i don't see myself using but it's pretty interesting then we see division training sapper uh, sapper 3 extended extra mags immune to shell shocks and tactical weapons and take less explosive damage basic training ordnance score streaks cost less and reroll care packages and the last we have is expeditionary 2 and we're just skipping straight to basic training and duelists have two attachments on secondary weapons and that's about it for all the information we have about the divisions right now i just want to go through all the basic training divisions training and division skill that we know right now of course this may not be all of it there may be more that we'll see in the future or maybe even later today but that's all we know about for now but that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and thumbs up if you guys want stay tuned for content similar to this go ahead and subscribe but i'm gonna go and i will catch you guys on my next video